Hey Sagittarius, I'm on a rise and welcome to Live, Laugh, Love, Tarot. Today's topic is what is hidden from you, okay? Uh, this could play out past, present, or future. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. You can always check out my playlist for additional collective reads. It's a timeless reading, so whenever you're seeing it, that's when it's meant for you. And thanks so very much for all of the likes, subscribes, tips, and donations to this channel. It is greatly appreciated. So let's delve into it. What's being hidden from all my Sagittarius out there? Some moon or rising spirit. Please and thank you. Okay, so you're about to receive a letter of some type, okay? About faithfulness. So you find out that someone or something has been very faithful to you over a certain amount of time, right? Hmm. Here we have the butterfly. So this is like transformation. Something is being beautified. Like something is in good standing with you from this letter that you receive. Service. And it's like this person, place, or thing really wants to continue to be involved with you. To provide a service to you. To cater to you. And then here we have haughtiness. Okay, so it looks good, wants to show you off. Hmm. So for a lot of you, this could be like a business, okay? Uh, you've worked with this business for a very long time. Uh, they want to support you, okay? They want to give you some incentives, okay? Uh, they may want you to wear a product or, you know, um, be an ambassador of some type, okay? With the old woman here, it's like you have this it factor, right? Rather, this is a business. Rather, this is a person, okay? That's what I mean by like person, place, or thing, right? But there is definitely an energy here. You get some in, you get um, a message that comes in possibly by mail. Okay. Like a letter is like mail for me. Okay. And it's long standing, it's like longevity here. Hmm. If this is a person, they want to show you off. Like they want to show off your connection. They want to put you on a pedal stool so that people can see you. And, Shit, if the haters gonna hate, right? This is whatever this is, whether it be a person, place, or thing. It's because like this person has a type or this business has like qualifications that they're looking for. Or, you know, with the old woman there, that's like my I never change type of energy, okay? It's like because you, you're you part of this vision, so to speak. With the four swords here... Okay, it's taken a while. Shit, I feel like you was chilling. You wasn't stressed or worried about this coming in. Okay, and this just kind of leisurely came in with the Ace of Cups here. It's like um, ultimate fulfillment emotionally. Like this make you happy as hell when you get this. You're happy as fuck when you get this Sagittarius. Okay, with the Three of Wands, it's like you knew that it was only a matter of time before this transformed into the beauty that it is now right a situation transforms into something even better than what it was with the justice here you feel like you've done the work shit and you deserve this service you deserve uh all what you're receiving okay here we have the high priestess in, re in reverse. I feel like um, this is not something that wants to be hidden. It's like you can talk about this. This person, place, or thing wants you to talk about this, wants you to speak on it and be happy. Yeah, with the nine of pentacles here, you're single, abundant. You looking good. You smelling good. For a lot of you all, this is like a raise. This is like something that has to do with employment or money, okay? adds to your abundance the bottom deck is the eight of pentacles something you've been working on okay rather it's a relationship shit you've been working hard at that it comes in but i'm not gonna lie i'm getting that this is money some type of business see the, there's no competition because you were chosen to do this shit with the eight of cups you don't need to compete okay this is like coming out of the energy of needing to compete okay 
with the oh and you was worried about this look you was worried about what offer was gonna come in and with the five of swords you like shit but i want this though i'm 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 gonna walk away from the thought of see because it's a lot of passion here okay so it's like you was caught up in your emotions over this you was damn near second guessing yourself like well am i gonna get this or not you know but you like damn it's made for me i put in the work you know i don't see how i couldn't get this for a lot of you it's employment okay for some of you all it could be a relationship yeah but i don't know why you would be so thirsty fighting for this relationship like this you know I really feel like it's employment. Here we have the King of Pentacles. Okay, so here's a masculine energy coming in. Okay, this could be from the boss though. The King of Pentacles is like a boss character. Okay, with the Ten of Swords here. Mm, let me see, clarify that. The Hierophant. Oh, so, and the Hermit. So look. The competition was that somebody was already in this position, okay? And you come and get in this damn position. And they need to go within and, like, study more and figure out, like, this is hidden. They like, damn, I need to go on and study. I need to figure out where I went wrong, you know, because you're coming in as the Hierophant. You know, you are worthy. Of, you topped the King of Pentacles. You, you just took somebody's spot. That's what I see. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Here we have the Ten of Pentacles. It's like you own, like you, you've been anticipating some extra money. And here it come. Here it is. Money that you can leave, have a legacy, leave your kids. You know, here you are in the Empress energy. You're in a feminine energy. You're receiving justice. You're receiving because you've embodied the energy that it takes to have this into your reality. You've done the fucking work. It's like, well, I know I'm capable of this. I know I'm deserving of this. More importantly, with the two of swords here, though, there is an energy, there is an energy of you not hearing shit. Like you're not being uh, budged. You're having sheer clarity here. And you see how the Pegasus comes in, the horse comes in to ride your ass off. But in between that, you're not letting anything get into your vision, get into your head. Okay. With the lover's card here, you're making a choice. You're like, look, I'm not finna put up with this. I'm not finna compete like everybody else. Yeah, with the Queen of Swords. I'm too fucking smart for this. I'm gonna cut out the BS because I'm worthy of this, right? With the Five of Swords here. This was the Five of Wands, my bad. And with the Five of Swords here, it's like, look, I know I've already won, okay? I can take rest i know i've already defeated any competition i'm just resting okay for a lot of you all you're not letting these competition or the other people that's you know um wanting what you have or wanting what you're gonna get to okay it's like you're not letting them see you sweat that's what it is like regardless of anything you're not letting nobody see you sweat with the fool card here you look it's a whole volcano erupting this fool is still finna jump off the cliff like what shit Wherever I land, I'm going to be good regardless. Let me clarify that with the Three of Cups. Rejoicement, okay? You're going to have like two or three people underneath you, okay? For some of y'all, you're going to have like some type of assistant. You're going to have like your own little department or something. Yeah, you are with the Knight of Swords. You're going to be over like at least three people. That's what I see. Uh, with the sun card here, you're going to be happy as fuck overall when you get this message. When this message comes in, you're going to be happy as hell. You're going to be moving forward. There you go with two other people behind you, right? You're going to have like some type of assistance, some type of people that follow up behind you. Look, nine of pentacles again. Don't even trip Sagittarius about shit, okay? And I don't really don't see you tripping. Look, you're not even accepting emotional offers right now. you like, look, I'm emotionally poised. I don't have time for no relationship right now. This is what I'm focusing on, my abundance. And I have a lot of things that I need to take care of, a lot of responsibilities. Look, with the temperance and the star card, you like, look, I don't got no time for the BS. 
I'm going to do whatever I got to do to maintain this position as well. Underneath here, we have the nine of swords. It's like you're not letting anything get to you. Your happiness, you happy as fuck about this. Whatever was holding you back in the past, whatever had you stressed out in the past, just as quick as it came, is leaving. Okay, you're very balanced when it comes to your emotions. You know how to place your passions, you know, your energy, like your strong energies, like emotional, passionate energies. You're not, you're not displaced about shit. Okay, you're very balanced. It says summon in power, instinct, intellect, control, because that's what you have right now, Sagittarius. A lot of control, a lot of poise, a lot of grace moving forward. And then we have circle of internal joy, timeless dance of life. You're going to be doing this for a long time, whatever it is that you're moving and leveling up into, okay? Bottom deck is sacred breath and sound life force communication you're going to be communicating to a lot of people you're going to be over a department head of something see with this precognizant psychic ability and future vision it's like you foresaw this you sat and you worked hard towards this you moved towards this because this is something that you wanted okay and when something is yours you just fucking know it and that's what this is it says claiming the waters peaceful self-regulation once you get this, you're balanced, you're poised, right? Because you know that it's for you. You're not out here um, misplacing that power, okay? I see you stepping into this role. I see you being a wise, um, humble leader, okay? And I'm happy for you. Congratulations, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Horizon. If this message resonated with you, smash that like button. And if you want to see more reads like this one, smash that like button. Thanks for your love and support to this channel. Until then, peace and love.